I mean, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not. So you're getting into character. Is not that what you're doing? Pulled together. Yeah. <laughs> getting into character for Oscar. Tom, it's good to see you again. Very nice to see you, of course. You look so pretty. Well, thank you. Thank you. You better get some kind of a shot of that beautiful outfit. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll do all that editing stuff after we talk with well, you. Oh, that's nice looking. But I, I want to ask you what it's like for you now, doing this show, The Odd Couple, with your it's friend. It's a dreadful pain. You know, I have to, first of all, I have to get him sober. Then I have to get him to the theater as best I can. Get him of those entanglements with the paternity suits and the homosexual thing, you know, is cropping up again pretty bad here. <laughs> so it's been just, it's just been a chore, right and left. But somehow you suffer through it all. Yes, I have to suffer through it. But that, that's the lot of all sex symbols. That's what we have to do. That's my job. I can't, teen idols do that all the time. That's, I'm, of course, of course, a teen idol. <laughs> and that's what I do all the time. Just take care of Tim. Tim the teen. If you and Tim were to share an apartment in real life, what would it be like? Hmm. It'd be a lot of laughs. I can tell you that. We've shared uh, 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 meals in hotel rooms in apartments of one kind or another. And it's uh, pretty funny. He's awfully funny. He makes me laugh so hard. And uh, it's on purpose, too. He knows what he's doing. It's just, he just kills me. Is he neat? I think we're probably, each of us is probably a mixture of both characters. Because I'm picky sometimes. And some, about some things I'm fastidious. I used to describe myself as not clean, but very neat. <laughs> but that's because I'm such a slob that unless I put everything back exactly where it is, belongs, I'll never find it. So I'm unaccountably extremely precise in putting everything, everything is exactly where it's supposed to be, otherwise I'd never know where it was. So that's a neat slob. <laughs> there is the voice. You know you're interrupting something very important. What a nerve. You <laughs> see, they don't have any real class here. They don't know how important this TV is. Hi there. Hi, America. Nice to see you. <laughs> now, they're just telling us time to go. That's why I'm... All right. I have just one more question because I, have, I know people want to know this. And that so is... nice to see you. Thank you. What about Newhart now? Are you all set for another well, season? Well, he's just as bad as... T oh, I'm sorry. What do you mean? The, the series. Oh, I was going to give away all my secrets Well, there, no, tell I, me about Newhart. Well, same thing exactly. Same thing as with Tim. That's why, you know, I'm, as teen idols do that all the time. That's our job. We have to look after those errant stars. <laughs> oh, he's terribly funny. And a pleasure to work for and with and next to. And I love him. I think everybody does, but he's, he's a wonderful man, a very funny fellow. If they do not settle the writer's strike, how is that going to affect the series for next season? Uh, they have to settle the writer's strike. Otherwise, shows that need writers will hire them somewhere, and that will be bad. And so they'll settle the writer's strike. There's the troublemaker. There's the troublemaker. Half hour, okay. <laughs> I gotta go to work. Okay. Tom, again, nice to see you. Thanks for Thanks spending this time much. with us. So nice to see Have you. Have a nice run here. Thank you, we will. Okay. And let us get you unwired. Okay. Tim, if in real life you and Tom Poston shared an apartment, what would it be like? Tom, what is it like working with Tim Conway?
Okay, Jimmy, that'll do it.